our next destination. We're getting ready to board now. pretty clear out there so I think it'll be a smooth sail. What, is what do you think? What is Sikihor means in your place? It means a woman with, with like syrup poured on her and she's not a good woman I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the name Sikihor means the same here as it does back home. <laughs> it's not the same meaning. You think we'll see any dolphins on this trip? I don't know. Maybe a whale or two. Yeah, shark. <laughs> shark. Did we get everything? Yeah. My phone. We're moving. <laughs> we just arrived in Sticky Whore. Good smooth boat ride. It was about an hour and a half long. Wasn't bad at all. I can already tell this island is going to be amazing. Probably one of my favorites, looks like. Look at that water. Hey, that's me right there. <laughs> How long you lived in Sticky Whore? Oh, I'm born here. Okay. Oh, I go to America before. You've been to America? I because uh, I'm working on the ship. Yeah. Before. Now I stop because I'm, I'm old now. <laughs> there you go. Time to retire. <laughs> made it we'll see y'all in the morning get it to the room we got uh everything settled in hey did you find my phone i don't know where's your phone I don't, a little shot of the outside the place last night when we got in here it was really dark so you couldn't see anything and then when you turn around it's like right here it's low tide right now Tides coming in. I think this here place was, I paid for five nights, four nights was $63 for four nights right here. Is this not gorgeous? We're fixing to head out now to go get us a scooter and then the adventure will begin on Sticky Whore. What this island's about. Can't wait to check this place out because of what I saw last night. And this is more of a province island. Not like Behold that we were just at. Behold was I don't know what I would even rank it as. <laughs> I liked it. I liked the people there. They were great too, but I don't know how I would even put Behold to be not my favorite. This one grabbed me last night when I got here because I love the more the tropical feel and the look of uh, everything here in Behold and Sticky Whore. It reminds me of Southern Leyte where she's from. I know that uh, island is amazing, but there's there's not a lot of malls. There's not a lot of things to do there. It's more nature, more just outdoor stuff. So we're going to check that out next. I believe we're leaving here to go to Sticky Whore. I mean, not Sticky Whore, but to Southern Leyte 
November the 13th or 14th and we'll be there for about two weeks then we're gonna head back towards Cebu and check out Cebu Island a lot of great places there also that's the itinerary right now hope everything holds up with that a shell hunters dream here yeah that's what we ate at last night Craving soup, babe? Yeah, soup. Hot. We're gonna have to find it's hot. Yeah. And you eat hot soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're having something here at the cemetery. That's why there's so many people right here. Yeah, every Angel's Wish looks like that's what we're eating this morning. Mayo Bunga. Let's check out the menu. The whole feel of this island here is more tropical than anyone we've been to so far. Like the people in this community here are like, they're friendly in, in behold, but here they're like crazy friendly. It's just like everybody you pass by just smiling, waving. Hello, hello. You know, I love it, I love it. I have both of them. Busy good day. Where else can you go that is so beautiful and travel three or four different islands, eat out three times a day, and go to different places on the island, beautiful beaches, and spend less than $700 for a whole month? Comment below.